this is free test series 2024 the question paper is already there on our youtube channel that is savarkar ias study circle now today we are going to analyze paper that is physics paper conducted on 1st march 2024 so question number 1 which statement is true option a sa unit of heat is calorie option b sa unit of volume is meter per cube option c sa unit of force is dyne per meter cube and d sa unit of pressure is pascal per meter square so out of that one option is only right because only a b c d is mentioned and therefore we have to find so this is fundamental level question so sa unit of heat is joule no doubt we are using calorie we are aware of conversion factor but still sa unit of heat that is joule sa unit of volume is meter cube yeah this is true because in a system we are considering meter as unit of length and meter cube that is unit of volume no doubt liter is unit which is used uh, in wide way but practically speaking liter is a derived unit volume occupied by 1 kg water at 4 degree celsius that is called as 1 liter and therefore uh, option b is not uh, uh, option b is correct option then option c now obviously it must be wrong that is uh, because out of four only one option is correct and therefore uh, we can go by this way that si unit of force is dyne per meter cube so no we are aware si unit of force that is newton in mks and in case of cgs if at all then it is dyne so uh, this is not a right answer and d must be obviously wrong because as we say b is right SI unit of pressure is pascal, not pascal per meter square. It is newton per meter square, and so option B is right option over here. So if we are going to discuss the question like this, uh, which statement is true? Option B is right answer. Now second question: How many statements are true? Particularly from two thousand. Uh, 23 that is a uh, upsc prelim conducted from that they started uh, this type of question emphasizing more on this type of question that how many statements are true okay they are not saying option a is right option uh, that statement one is correct but two is not correct like that uh, they are giving four statements and out of that one statement is true uh, sorry how many statements are true so uh, first generally radius of nucleus of an atom is measured in unit that is parsecs i am reading out question first so uh, second uh, thing nucleus of an atom is approximately 100 times smaller than size of atom third atom of one element can be converted into atom of other element according to dalton's principle and fourth nucleus of radium disintegrates into radon so let us go step by step first generally radius of nucleus of an atom is measured in unit uh, for that purpose we have unit that is called as fermi uh, based on originally italian but later on american scientist named as enrico fermi he was nuclear scientist and in honor of him the unit of nucleus that is length of nucleus or diameter of nucleus is measured in terms of unit that is called as fermi One for me equal to ten raised to minus five angstrom. So, uh, okay, one angstrom. Uh, try to recollect this. Uh, all things are there in our uh, regular lecture pattern. So one meter that is equal to ten raised to minus ten angstrom. So uh, sorry, ten uh, raised to ten angstrom. That is connection between one meter to angstrom. Whereas one angstrom. That is equal to ten raised to five Fermi. So 
10 raise to 5 that means 1 lakh fermi that is equal to 1 angstrom so like that uh, connection is there between uh, this whereas parsec is unit used for measuring interstellar distances okay so it is bigger than light year and therefore uh, this is option that is wrong option a is wrong because generally it is mentioned we can measure no doubt but that will be too big multiplied and so it is not at all say convenient and so first option is wrong second nucleus of an atom is approximately 100 times smaller than size of an atom so it is 1 lakh times smaller and therefore this option is also not true third atom of one element can be converted into atom of another element this statement is true but what is the next part according to Dalton's principle so Dalton says no it is not possible to convert one atom into another because at time of Dalton radioactivity was not discovered and so this transmutation transmutation means one element is converted into another element like that things were not possible at that time because Dalton was not aware of that at that time and so this statement is also false now last nucleus of radius uh, radium disintegrates into radon yeah uh, one of the isotope of radium that is disintegrated into radon radon is a gas uh, inert gases series the last gas we know that is radon so this statement is true so uh, only one statement is true and therefore we have to give answer as only one so answer is a third question Again same, how many statements are true, I am reading out statements and then we are proceeding further. Water at 73 degree Celsius is having more volume than water at 4 degree Celsius. At minus 4 degree Celsius temperature is minus 4 Fahrenheit. Volume occupied by 1 kilogram water at 4 degree Celsius is called as 1 liter. Solid bismuth floats on liquid bismuth. Okay. So first statement, water at 73 degree celsius is having more volume than that of uh, that at water at 4 degree celsius obvious answer is right because we are aware that uh, at 4 degree celsius water is having minimum volume and maximum density and so uh, any temperature above or below 4 degree celsius as long as that is water the statement is true and therefore first statement is true second at minus 4 degree Celsius temperature is minus 4 Fahrenheit. No, this is not there. Uh, it is minus 40. You can search formula. Uh, this is there in our video lecture. So by applying that formula, you can find out that uh, at what temperature degree Celsius and Fahrenheit are same. That is minus 40. So not minus 4. So this statement is wrong. Volume occupied by 1 kg water at 4 degree Celsius is called as 1 liter. This statement is also true. Just uh, we discuss about this definition of 1 liter. So this is also true. And uh, last solid bismuth floats on liquid bismuth. That means density of liquid bismuth is more than density of solid bismuth. Yeah. Uh, ice, iron and bismuth. These three. Uh, only uh, for me I know I am aware of these three substances may be possible many substances may be there but I am aware of these three substances they can float on their own liquid that is ice, bismuth and iron so uh, here fourth statement is also true so here we will get answer that three statements are true means here C is a right answer fourth how many statements are true? So sound waves are longitudinal waves. Sound waves of frequency 40 kilohertz are audible for a layman without any instrument. Sound waves travel faster in vacuum than solid surface. Piano is a string instrument. Okay. So let us consider uh, sound waves are longitudinal waves. Statement is true. Longitudinal wave means particle oscillates in the same direction in which wave is propagating. So this is longitudinal wave. So first statement is true. Sound waves of frequency 40 kilohertz 
it is uh, said that uh, frequency minor here and there is there but for uh, <coughs> broader sense keep in mind this way that 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz kilo means 1000 so 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz this frequency is audible if sound waves below 20 hertz they are called as infrasound and if sound waves are having frequency above 20,000 hertz that is 20 kilohertz then it is called as ultrasound we can't hear infrasound as well as ultrasound without instrument and therefore uh, for layman without instrument so here frequency mentioned is 40 kilohertz double than audible frequency so we say no so first statement is true second statement is false sound waves travel faster in vacuum than solid surface answer no sound waves are not able to travel through vacuum that's why the sound of sun may be any big sound because number of hydrogen bombs are blasting out continuously so it must be a huge sound but we can't hear it because there is no practically speaking atmosphere between sun and earth and therefore we are not able to hear that sound so sound waves are not traveling in vacuum so third statement is also false piano is a string instrument by looking at piano keys are there we can consider yes fantastic but actually strings are there when we hit that key that string vibrates and then that wooden box vibrate resonates that is the production of sound in piano so here uh, first statement is true second is false third is false fourth is true that means two statements are true answer is b again fifth question same how many statements are true refractive index of diamond is more than hydrogen gas at stp speed of light is more in between the space of andromeda galaxy and milky way then through Kohinoor diamond third statement some frequencies in a short radio waves are reflected back by ionosphere of earth fourth carbon black can absorb more than 90 percent of the incident radiations let us start refractive index of diamond is more than hydrogen gas at stp always keep in mind that diamond is having very high refractive index and in solid case it is very very high that's why uh, many times light is uh, refracted in between that and therefore diamond appear brighter so uh, than hydrogen gas at stp already stp means standard temperature and pressure so obviously uh, first statement is true second speed of uh, speed of light is more in between the space of Andromeda galaxy and Milky Way that means two galaxies tremendous distance is there between two galaxies and in between that we can say perfect vacuum is there that means uh, whatever we are saying there is vacuum outside atmosphere of earth but it is not a perfect vacuum so here we are considering in perfect vacuum that is between two galaxies what is the speed of sun uh, sorry speed of uh, light then through Kohinoor diamond now Kohinoor is just uh, we are saying name then through diamond so obvious thing is that uh, density increases speed of light decreases and therefore we can get the light turned out that is called as refraction of light so obvious thing is that in vacuum speed of light is more than the medium uh, becoming dense and dense and so speed of light is more answer is yes uh, so first statement is true second is also true some frequencies in short radio waves they are reflected back by ionosphere ionosphere is one of the upper part of atmosphere particularly thermosphere and all that this is the characteristic that short waves that is radio waves they are reflected back by ionosphere and that's why without satellite communication of short wave that is possible uh, this is the case when our great Indian freedom fighter that is Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose when he visited Germany from German radio he started delivering speech for Indians and this way uh, his voice 
was heard in India at that time. Keep in mind, at that time, no artificial satellites were there in uh, space for communication. And still, we were able to hear his voice. That is because of this shortwave radio communication. And uh, now, uh, for this generation, I don't know. But uh, when we were uh, in college days, in our college days, we were using radios and we were tuning out to hear shortwave communication. That is shortwave radios from outer uh, nation. We are able to hear particularly around 7 o'clock. The frequencies are reflected to very great extent. Uh, anyhow, uh, but uh, the answer is yes. Third option is also true. Fourth option, carbon black can absorb more than 90% of incident radiation. Yes, more than 98% like depending upon the quality of carbon black. But more than 98%, 19, 98 EIGHT. So more than 98% incident radiations are absorbed by carbon black. Uh, so naturally obtaining highest light absorbing substance, naturally obtaining that is uh, carbon black. So this statement is also true. So all four statements are true means here option is D. Sixth question, which of the following statement oblique statements is or are true? In month of December, sound speed is more in Greenland than in Brazil. Sound waves coming from the central portion of Evil Eye Galaxy are absorbed by the thermosphere of Earth. Wooden box in the guitar amplifies the sound of wires due to the resonance. Speed of sound is 3 lakh km per second in vacuum and we have to identify which statement or statements is or are true. So let us go step by step. In month of December sound speed is more in Greenland than Brazil. So along with physics you must have knowledge of geography. Then only we can answer Greenland is towards Arctic Circle whereas Brazil is towards equator on the equator. So, equator is having more temperature than Arctic Circle. Month of December, Greenland is in North Hemisphere. That means in Greenland, it's extreme winter that is there. So, at winter, temperature is less. As temperature decreases, density increases. As density increases, speed of sound increases. So, uh, speed of sound is more in Brazil, uh, sorry, in Greenland. But Brazil is on equator where temperature is obviously positive, in Greenland it is negative and therefore speed of sound will be more in Greenland than in Brazil statement is true, not necessary in month of December, any time the statement is true. Sound waves coming from the central portion of, then forget whatever that, evil eye galaxy, this is name of galaxy, you can search on Google, particularly on the website of NASA, you will get this type of uh, names. Uh, I look this uh, name as very funny because usually scientists don't believe in ghost and all that. But still, uh, they have given the name to galaxy. This is Evil Eye Galaxy. Uh, the thing is that where we observe dark matter first time. And that's why uh, because of that dark matter, the light coming from this uh, galaxy appears something different. That look of galaxy is something different and therefore it is called as evil eye galaxy. So we are aware that in vacuum sound waves are not coming. So uh, sound waves coming from the central portion of evil, guy, uh, evil, guy, uh, evil eye galaxy are absorbed by thermosphere of earth. Thermosphere is layer of atmosphere. So whatever sound waves coming from evil, guy, Alex, uh, evil eye galaxy, they will not at all touch to atmosphere of earth because there is vacuum in between that and therefore the option is wrong. Speed of uh, next statement, wooden box in guitar amplifies the sound of wires due to resonance. Yes, you are aware there is wooden box, some different shape. When you uh, use that apply some vibrations in the string, the string vibrates and whatever the sound is produced by that vibration that is amplified because of resonance of that material. So this statement is true. Statement, uh, sorry, fourth statement, 
स्पीड ऑफ साउंड इज थ्री लैक किलोमीटर पर सेकंड इन वैक्यूम सो इन वैक्यूम साउंड वेव आर नॉट एट ऑल प्रोपेगेटिंग सो वेर इज क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस स्पीड एंड वी आर अवेयर दैट इन स्पीड साउंड ऑफ स्पीड ऑफ साउंड इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मीटर पर सेकंड नॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ किलोमीटर्स एंड सो फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग सो हियर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज राइट एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन थर्ड इज राइट सो वन एंड थ्री दिस इज द आंसर दैट इज इन सी यूल गेट आंसर वन एंड थ्री नाउ सेवंथ नाउ वी हैव टू रीड दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी केयरफुली सी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज आर नॉट ट्रू मेनी टाइम वी आर हैविंग पॉजिटिव अप्रोच वी फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस नॉट and so we have to be very careful about this not now which of this following statement are not true is or are not true light radiations can be amplified yes laser is amplified light only so light waves can be amplified and option is true violet light is having more range than red in atmosphere yeah this is actually reverse way mention as energy decreases range increases as wavelength increases range decreases as frequency increases range decreases clear uh, simple we can keep in mind this way that e is equal to h c by lambda h is a constant so i can write e is directly proportional to uh, and c is also constant so if i am the speed of light so i can consider energy and frequency uh, sorry wavelength they are reversely pro inversely proportional whereas frequency is directly proportional to energy so as frequency increases energy increases as frequency and energy increases wavelength decreases so according to this uh the energy is more or frequency is more range is short now in vibjor violet is at top and red is at bottom so highest energy is there for violet highest frequency is there for violet whereas least energy is there for red or least frequency is there for red therefore maximum wavelength is there for red as a result uh violet light is having less range than red so second statement is false now keep in mind we have to report only false statement and so we have to report here second statement now let us check third microwave radiations are having more range than x radiation in atmosphere this statement is true because x radiations are towards top whereas microwaves are towards bottom so as energy is less microwave travel longer distance in atmosphere you are aware that particularly in case of defense services or say police force and all that they are using uh, they are using microwaves for communication we are using generally our mobile phones and all that working on radio waves whereas for this special purpose they are using microwave for communication so third statement is right that means we have to not consider we have to consider only wrong statement infrared radiations are emitted by sun yeah any hot body hot body definition is temperature is above 0 kelvin so ice is also hot because it have a temperature 273 kelvin okay don't consider degree celsius and so uh, sun is also emitting out very good infrared radiation so here only two statement the second statement is wrong now that's why we have to give answer here as b because it gives only two which of the following statement is or are true like that velocity is a scalar while speed is a vector statement is given exactly in the reverse way velocity is a vector whereas speed is scalar that's why we are using speedometer that is meter per second or kilometers per hour that is to measure speed whereas velocity is directional character that is displacement per meter 
displacement per unit time. So that's why first statement is wrong. Now here we have to report true statement. Okay, so first is false. Weight is a vector while mass is a scalar. Actually, weight is a force. Uh, we are aware of the formula F equal to mass into acceleration. If I am changing out mass in terms of gravitational acceleration, G, then that is the formula of weight. So weight is a vector, true, because weight is vector, uh, because uh, acceleration term is there, whereas mass is a scalar. Yeah. Uh, so only M we are considering then it is a scalar. So first statement is false, but second is true. Third, acceleration is a vector. Yeah, it's meter per second square unit. So accelerator, uh, that is again a directional character because it is rate of change of velocity. And therefore it is also a vector. So statement is true. Distance is a scalar while displacement is a vector. Just now we discussed. So this is also true. So right statements here, there are two, three, four. They are right. Whereas first is not right. So answer is 2, 3, 4. That means B, Bombay. We can say that is the correct option. Now ninth question. Bit complicated, but not that. If you are aware of the law. With reference to Newton's law of cooling. Which statement is true in the given condition? Condition. Two identical buckets are kept in identical conditions having pure water of same mass. Okay, so everything is same, only buckets are different. Water in bucket X is having 30 degrees Celsius more temperature than water in bucket Y. That means simply bucket X is, uh, water in bucket X is hot. Whereas uh, comparatively water in bucket Y is not that hot. Now, A, water in bucket Y will experience fast cooling. Now, what Newton's law of cooling says, that rate of cooling is directly proportional to temperature. So, temperature is more, rate of cooling is more. Temperature is less, rate of cooling is less. So, uh, Y is colder than X. So, as compared to Y, uh, sorry, as compared to X, Y is not experience fast cooling. Water in bucket X will experience fast cooling. Yes, B is right option. Both X and Y buckets will attain the same temperature within 5 seconds. No. Uh, this is not possible directly. Uh, if they kept close with each other, then also it will take longer time to attain because we have to kept in vacuum. Then only this can be possible. So this is not possible within 5 seconds. And lastly, cooling rate of both water will be same. So according to Newton's law, it is not. And therefore, uh, option B here is right op option that water in bucket X will experience fast cooling. Tenth, what is the unit of specific resistance? Straightforward question. You are aware of resistance. So unit of specific resistance here uh, and uh, they have given various option so out of that ohm meter is right option uh, let us check how so you are aware that uh, v equal to i r but r is directly proportional to length and r that is resistance is inversely proportional to area of cross section area of cross section means suppose this is a conductor then this is the area of cross section so I can consider here R and then we are applying here R equal to and as condition L into A this is called as rho this is specific resistance now uh, here uh, I don't want to rub this, I want to keep this, therefore I am writing now here and I am using some different thing, it can be marked. So I can solve this rho that is equal to R, A will be in multiplier and A, L will be in the division. So unit of resistance is ohm, 
unit of area is meter square upon unit of length is meter so i can cancel out meter and 1 meter here so what are the unit is there that is rho meter uh, sorry uh, ohm meter so this is the unit that is c i hope you will enjoy this paper solving no doubt paper is not that easy but you have to score minimum 50% mark and you will find not all but maximum questions are based on whatever lectures of our savarkar ias study circle youtube channels are there video lectures on that only we have asked this question so henceforth also i hope that when you will prepare for next exam just observe this basic video lecture and you have to use your intelligence after that that everything is not there discuss so by using your intelligence you can solve these questions so best of luck for actual exam and also try to solve all these uh, test series question it will be there for uh, till 30 march 2024 it will be there on youtube and obvious uh, that uh, time table is also there so if you are observing this prior to 30 march 2024 then continue and else also it will be there on youtube only so you can study out and appear for exam thanks